as you've seen, by default, Google Maps displays a map of the United States when it's first loaded. But we can set our map to display a particular location, and we can use the Animate To method of the Map Controller class. So what we're going to do is set this to Animate To Delaware County Community College. We're going to go back into our Java file, and we're going to import in somewhere from Google. So this is going to be the geo point. And we need to add some more up in here. So we're going to say our map controller is going to be MC. And our geo point is going to be just P for point. OK, now I'm going to add some code in here to use. Now to put in a specific location, we need to get the coordinates for the location. So what I'm doing is I just went to another website where we can do a reverse geocode. There's a lot of sites and so I just found one and put in the address that I wanted and it gives me the geocode of the address. Reverse geocode would take it the other way. If I had the longitude and latitude, then I could go back and reverse it out and get the address that's associated with that longitude and latitude. And that will be the subject of a different video tutorial. So I'm going to use these codes in my Java file in order to pinpoint this location on the map. OK, so first we obtain a map controller from the map view instance. And then we assign it to map controller object, which is MC. Then we use a geo point object to represent the geographical location, which will eventually have the longitude and latitude values of where we want to zoom into. And in this example, the latitude and longitude of the location are represented in what's called micro degrees. So we have to convert that integer to micro degrees, and that's what's going on down here. So with this code that just got added, Right, we have our map view instance and we've assigned it to the map controller object, so MC. We are specifying our longitude and latitude coordinates. So we have a string and the coordinates are in an array. So we have two values in here, longitude and latitude. We're creating variables called lat and long, or LNG, and we're creating those as uh, double. And so we're taking the first value out of the array and parsing it as double, same thing with the longitude. Then we create a new geo point, so two integers and latitude, and this is where we're converting that into the micro degrees. And then we're saying MC animate to our geo point. We're setting the zoom level. The higher the zoom level, the closer in and more detail we have. And then for invalidate, it forces the map view to be redrawn. So let me save. And then I'm going to run this. OK, so here is our area. It's not zoomed in very much. So I'm going to go back in and set the zoom level higher. So let's try 12. OK, it's getting in closer. So I'm going to try going in a little closer. So each time we're moving in, we're getting closer and closer in. So let's go in even further. And now we're in really close. But you get the idea with this about being able to go in and set your coordinates and being able to animate to your geo point. And then the level of zoom that you set is how close in or out you go. Okay, so now what if we wanted to add a pinpoint, something to show the exact location on your map? Now in my application, I've added an image, uh, a pin, like a little push pin image into my drawable folder. So next we're going to add some statements in here that are going to work with the bitmap image and then be able to place the, the pinpoint at our location. So this is going to require some more imports that are all going to deal with bitmaps. 
So in order to add a marker to our map, we're going to need to define a class that extends the overlay class. And so that's why we're importing that in. And an overlay represents an individual item that you can draw on the map. So we can add as many overlays as we want. And in the map overlay class, we override the draw method so that we can draw the push pin image onto the map. So let's translate that part into some code. Okay, so now I've added some code here and we have a class called the map overlay class which extends the Google Android Maps overlay class. And we need to be able to do that so that we can draw on our map. Now our map overlay class also overrides the draw class so that we can put the push pin onto the map. And also in here we are converting or translating the geographical location of our point into screen pixels. So the get projection method returns a projection for converting between screen pixel coordinates and latitude and longitude coordinates. So that means we'll be able to match up on our overlay pixels to longitude and latitude. So on our canvas, we're converting those longitude and latitude to screen points. And then we're adding the push pin using bitmap factory. And we're getting the reference to our image in our files for our push pin. And then on the canvas, we're going to draw the bitmap on there and we're using the X and Y coordinates, which are the longitude and latitude points that have been converted into screen points. And the Y is minus 50 because we're allowing for the height of the push pin image. And then to actually add the marker onto the map, this has been added. So we create an instance of the map overlay class and add it to a list of overlays that are available. And then we use the invalidate to redraw the map. So now I'm going to save this and run it. Okay, and here is our updated map with our push pin. And you can see this image was probably taken on a Sunday since there's nobody in the parking lot. All right, so that is the basics of uh, adding a push pin marker to a geolocation.